Hey guys, welcome back to The Hide. We've got a gray box Smith out on the bench today for review. If you've watched the short, I posted a few weeks back, kind of an intro into this revolver here. I'm sure you guys have anticipated it. I'm glad to bring it to tabletop. If you know anything about Smith & Wesson revolvers, you know the gray boxes mean performance center. So let's unbox this and I'll show you a little bit more in depth of what we got here. So this is one of the Smith & Wesson, this is model 11760. This is a five inch vent rib performance center 686 plus. So this is a seven shot revolver. This is 38 special 357. Comes from the factory with, like I said, the vent rib, this really high orange plastic front sight. I still don't know how I really feel about that. Some guys like, <coughs> excuse me, some guys like that, some guys don't. Um, I will say it's really easy to pick up. However, I, I don't know. I, I, the jury's still out for me on that, whether I like it or not. Adjustable rear sight, elevation, and windage. You do have a thumb release here, extended thumb release from the factory, so that's very nice. The hammer and the spur is very, very tactile and very easy to get a hold of. Trigger is absolutely amazing. If you have ever shot one of the Performance Center revolvers, the way they come out of the box is just, it's phenomenal as compared to just a standard revolver. As you can see, this is unloaded. And just to kind of give you an idea, I mean, it is so smooth. So smooth. The single action is almost just non-existent. I'll see if I can get you a, a trigger pull here on the single action. I mean, it is not much. So about four and a half pounds. It honestly feels a little bit lighter than that. Let's see if we can try that one more time. Make sure I got a good pull on it. Yeah, about four and a half pounds. But it is crisp, fellas. It does come with what I would believe to be a Hogue grip, and it fits absolutely perfect in your hand. The overall five-inch barrel on this is, in my opinion, the best... I mean, overall barrel length for just, you know, shooting fun. I mean, no, you're not going to carry something like this. It is really heavy. This is built on the L frame, so it's got some chunk to it. And it is very controllable even when shooting 357 Magnum. 38 Special, it's kind of almost like shooting a 22 revolver. I mean, you don't even really know it. And it's just a boatload of fun. The biggest problem I've had with this revolver is that you can just blow through way too much ammunition. And as we know right now, 357 38 Special store-bought ammunition is just absolutely astronomical in price. So let me get you guys a weight on this just to kind of give you an overall idea of the size. Now... The weight is a little bit hefty, but you kind of want that in a revolver, especially something that you might want to target shoot with. So two pounds, seven ounces, because that really, really calms down that felt recoil and muzzle rise. So uh, I tell you what, let's reposition the camera. I'm going to shoot a few rounds for you and see if I can do this revolver some justice, and we'll get some final thoughts, guys. All right, guys, I got seven rounds of some Fiocchi Full Metal Jacket 38 Special here. Let's uh, take a few shots of this and we'll see how it does. All right. All right, I'm gonna reload, get some 357 Magnums in this cylinder and we'll see how they do. All right guys, we got seven rounds of some 158 grain Fiocchi full metal jacket. So let's uh, take a look at these and see how they do. Make that seal dance, hopefully. <laughs> All right, man. I tell you what, a pistol like this even makes a self-proclaimed non-pistol shooter feel pretty good about their skills. But I tell you, if you ever get a chance to shoot one of these performance center guns, definitely take the opportunity to do that. I know they're a little bit pricey, but there's a reason why. They just shoot phenomenally. Now, this particular revolver is cut for moon clips, and it does come from the factory with two TK Customs moon clips included. So that is a very nice option. You have the ability to kind of speed load, train that way as well. But uh, if you like this content, please like, share, and subscribe to the video. It really does help. And as always, shoot straight. Later.